All right, so people are asking me all the time, what is this Malibu Gothic series all about? Well, instead of telling you, why don't I show you? All right, let's go. Malibu. People all over the world imagine this stretch of 27 miles as the definition of the endless summer. The beautiful beaches, the Baywatch babes, the CEO surfers, then you got the stars, the houses, the money, the dream. But all the glitz is mostly a facade, and the first of Malibu's true mysteries is a phantom railroad that went nowhere. In 1903, the original owner of Malibu was in the fight of her life. Her enemy was the California government, who saw real value in exploiting her pristine coastline property. And a bold legal move, May Ringe built a 15-mile rail line just to block the Pacific Railroad Company from laying tracks through Malibu. Now, although the endpoint of that infamous railroad has mysteriously disappeared, the beginning of it is right here in Los Flores Canyon. I'm here on Los Flores Canyon Road, and the first thing you notice are these two amazing houses facing each other on opposing bluffs. Some believe these two houses are guardians that protect the secrets that were buried along with the railroad. But there are scores of mysterious houses along the coastline of Malibu, some built for reasons that are entirely unclear. But it's not surprising when you realize the people who are drawn to live here are some of the most private and eccentric in the world. What they do behind closed doors is said to be completely off the radar. Even the local watering holes have stories, like moon shadows, infamous for reasons that usually close other bars, like patrons who dare to cross the Pacific Coast Highway on a weekend night. Many have failed to reach the other side, giving credence to the folklore that this area is actually haunted by wandering spirits. Perfect. So at its core, the series Malibu Gothic is essentially a mashup of beauty and perversion, a public perception and deformed reality, blah blah blah. But hey, it's also crazy fun, because nothing is as it seems, and yet anything and everything is accepted as normal in this sleepy little colony. 